10 o'clock right now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary. I was just handed this beautiful gift from the Rains family. And it's just a thank you for taking care of the animals. But I have to show you, they put Adele on the cup and it says life is better at the farm. And on the other side, it has our rescue with my name. So Miss Little Natalie just handed it to me right before we went on to our live. And it was from Easton, Natalie, Sadie, the Rains family. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for uh, thinking of me and the animals. That was so very nice. And I drink water like crazy. Of course, when it's really hot out, especially I'm going to hand this to Dean. We are, first of all, good morning. Happy Sunday. Uh, let us know where you're from. We love hearing that. As you know, we have followers from all over and because of COVID and just being people being far away. We have a lot of people that can't show up and this way we kind of bring the funny farm into your home. Uh, it is family friendly. We try at least to keep it family friendly at all, at all, at all times. And Matt, I just said, please tell us where you're from again. <laughs> Already he's starting to not listen, my own video person. Uh, <laughs> Dean, come on in. So we have some new arrivals. We have been so full in the pig department. Um, this was an emergency situation one of our neighbors kind of down the road you know neighbors aren't that close here uh down the road a piece uh was in trouble her husband finally not finally oh my goodness her husband died uh unexpectedly and she was disabled and had four pigs that he took care of so we had she had no recourse we knew about these pigs because they had been out before and some of the volunteers would go over and since her husband's passing she called us and said can you take them and i said we are completely full we don't have any more space dean uh, the volunteer was going over every couple days helping feed and keeping them going and it was such a bad situation that we need we knew that we needed to step in and, and help out or these pigs um, you know, would really have a tough time through winter. So you can see our new pig pens. It was one of our regular pig areas was divided up. We have Bella and Bentley inside that are really old. So here uh, we have Cliff, Cliffy and Pete. Cliffy was named after her husband uh, who died, who was very healthy. Um, and like I said, had a, a heart attack, I believe, Dean. Yes, I had think a heart, so. Had a heart attack and uh, passed away. And Pete and was named after one Pete, of our volunteers. Yes, Pete was named after one of our volunteers, Gig and Pete. Gig is still here. Unfortunately, we lost Pete a few years back. And uh, I'm sure he's so happy that we named him after a pig, but he would absolutely love that. So I, Gig, his wife said, you know, I think that, that'll be great. He loved the skunk. We were going to try and name a skunk after him, but we don't get skunks in too often. So he loved, uh, he, he loved, I just said he loved skunk. <laughs> Are you guys listening to this? This is what I have to deal with. Matt, you just sit there and video. I just said he loves skunks, and plus he loves skunks, this Matt's saying in the background. Uh, now I think he's doing it on purpose. No, it was Do you just think? the sun was in his uh, Yeah, okay, the sun was in his eyes, so he couldn't hear me. Okay. Here's Rex, and this is Bubba. Yes, we already have a pig named Bubba, who is very big, but this is little Bubba inside, and Rex is the smaller one. Rex and Bubba are more friendly, and... They're a little more socialized. They're a little more socialized because, uh, you know, I think they had them first. They, they will get socialized here because we have so many um, visitors. And, of course, Dean spends all of his time with the pigs. So uh, they will grow to love him whether they like it or not. <laughs> Bubba, Bubba and Rex already have a new friend that they talk to. Oh, yeah. So with. we have the large pig pen next door. Here come, Look, here's Wilbur. Can you see Wilbur down here? Uh, let me go in here. Yeah, go in. I can go in like that. You could have gone over. Here's Wilbur. So they get to see each other through the pen. Now, Wilbur's a regular hog as compared to the pot belly pigs like the other four of them are. And he's very friendly, but he was running around loose in Buna, which is the next town over. I was on a work trip and my volunteer said, Lori, there's a pig running loose. And I said, we don't have any more room. We cannot take another pig. Well, I came home from my trip and there was a new house built. Uh, that the volunteers put together while I was away and here was the new pig Wilbur and he's a sweetheart he knows you can see there's a tear in his ear Dean show him the tear in his ear so they are tagged when they're going to be meat pigs 
and you can see it actually has a rip in his ear. It's god awful. You know, it healed up, but it's kind of like having a pierced ear that somebody ripped through your ear, and it's healed that way. Um, but he was tagged to be so there's somebody's a famous picture of him meat. with the uh, when he was little with his paws sticking through the fence. So yes, there is a famous picture of him when he was a little baby. He his paws were st he was standing up like a dog with his feet over the fence, and they were all muddy. So he's been here since a little tyke and he has grown to be a really sweet pig and he gets along and is welcoming Rex and Bubba and Cliffy and Pete. So they're getting to be very socialized. That's, you can hear him squeaking. He's, he's, I don't know if you can hear that. He's chewing. Bubba, so he's, his, his little squeaking is going on with his little teeth, but you can see little Rex is saying, Hey, big boy, you're my new friend up oh, and he's getting a little head scratch on the fence. Wilbur. And you can see the boys have tusks. Girls have tusks too, but just not real long. And we do have to trim them with giggly wire. It looks like a wire. So a lot of these animals, you don't realize if you get them, they have a lot of care that has to be put in more than what you think. Oh, we just feed and water them. No, not the case. Try and trim a hoof on, on Wilbur, right? Right, Dean? Uh, I said, you know, the vet tells us, just flip them up and cut them. So uh, we're learning how to, to trim the hooves on the pigs. We do the goats right now, which you've seen on our live videos before. But it's a little more challenging on the pigs. So again, they have to trim their... We use a giggly wire and it's kind of like sawn through. Yeah. And then we also do their hooves. So uh, Elizabeth said that she loves us, but she has no sound. So I'm wondering if it's just her or if everyone can hear you. Can anybody else hear... Can everybody else hear me? Would you just let Matt know? The on... microphone is hooked up right. It is yeah. on. Yeah. It could be that you, she just has to hit the right, you know. You know what? We've had it where people couldn't hit hear sound before, and maybe she can turn it off and on again. Yeah. So, yeah. Matt, maybe you can just, I don't know if you can tell her that. But... Well, well, we'll wait till someone says. Okay. Yeah, if Bill says he can hear. Bill can hear. Thank you, if Bill. If he can hear, everyone can hear. If Bill can hear, the whole world <laughs> hears. It's Angel listening. Foster, so that's Gig's Angel. granddaughter. Oh, Angel Foster! Mm -hmm. So she Angel. heard about Pete. Well, Angel is named after a, a goose. Yeah, so Angel and Stephen. Angel and Stephen, her and her man are They're named cool. after. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes I hope you like all animals if you get named after. Consider it a, a, a big compliment if you're named after an animal. Do we here. have a name, an animal named Matt? We don't have an animal named Matt. One, one Matt is enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dean. Thank you so much. Oh, not nice. Thank you, Dean, for uh, you know. Dean took care of these pigs while while uh, they were still in their current home, in their home before this previous home, until he could get the fencing done. And Gig also helped out. That's Angel's oh, yeah. grandmother. Um, she's seventy some years old. She actually works really well with Dean, helping hold. Yep. And remember, if you want to be a volunteer. Uh, we are open every Tuesday, every Sunday from 8 to 4. You can come and volunteer and do any job. Like I said, Gig wants to do something a little more laborious because she's that kind of woman. And she'll help build pig houses, pig fencing. She wants to be a hands-on kind of girl. If you would like not to scoop poop and build, you can sit at the front gate, welcome visitors. You can work our snack bar or work in our store or, or just pet animals or even groom them. So this is Mr. Miles. We're coming over to give an update on Cooper. So I believe we have 11 horses. Have I lost count? I think it's 11. Uh, this is Jelly. You know how people get gray? So do animals. Can you see the gray? She used to be completely brown. And you can see she started, well, you're gonna just let them show your gray? She's like, I need a dye job, mom. So she <laughs> has some gray. And you know what's funny? It goes up more where her halter is. The but they get they it. do get gray they just get gray i'm not really exactly sure but she does have more more here is that pretty girl this is jelly she used to have we used to have peanut butter and jelly they came as a, a match set um peanut butter was a paint and he died died of asthma so horses can have pretty big ailments and have things happening and uh we used to have to give him albuterol which is a medication for asthma patients so he lived a long time, but now this is uh, Politico's girlfriend, Cooper. Says, Good morning, Aunt Sue. She says she agrees with you. One mat is enough. <laughs> Come here, Coop. So nice. Cooper, Jelly, we're gonna keep you in, girlfriend. 
Cooper, come on out. You have to stay. Let's see if Cooper oh, comes. Bang. Okay. Come on. He's coming. Come on, Cooper. All right, not you, Miles. Hold on. Wait, oh, Dean, no. <laughs> maybe you can get the... I got you. Okay. Thank you, thank you. All right. Easy. Stay in, girlfriend. We still have a wire, right? We still have a wire. Our wireless mic is on back order. We're working on it, yeah, guys. Nobody's working. From home, yeah. And you can see Cooper. He's the one who got poked in the side by Yogi, our steer. And you can see him way in the back. He's coming up, but you'll be able to see him because he has bright duct tape holding on his those horns. Yep, so here's Cooper. He's like, hello, Yogi, come over. But you can see his side is much, much better. So they were best friends, and he got poked in the side. Uh, the volunteers, we have two EMTs, rushed to get that bandaged up quick, and then we rushed him to the hospital. It's the University of Penn New Bolton Center up near Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania. And because of the volunteers speedy work and getting him up to the hospital in a hurry and yeah so sorry i meant to say hi bunny and thank you if she's watching that was for the uh the little pig's mom was bunny oh she sent us a little note so hi bunny um but also we so we were able to save his life and you can see he's very happy to be alive he never used to be friendly uh, he was very skittish in the beginning, but you can see he goes right up to people. He's not harmful. They are teaching their little child how to feed him and get acclimated with animals, but he loves Yogi. Should we go in and see Yogi? Yeah. I'll give him. Always hold a flat hand. He's going to demonstrate. Flat hand, and we always want to keep your fingers out of the way because they don't know the difference between carrots and your, their little fingers, especially the little guys. Oh, now he's got a new friend. Oh, he's got a new friend. Oh. He says, Dad, let me feed one. Let me feed one. <laughs> All right, let's go see. Let's go walk in and see Yogi. Okay. Hopefully, Yogi will behave himself. Yogi! Mmm. Wait, before we go anywhere. What? Oh, we have to show. Wait, come in the sun then. Okay. They sparkle. All right, so I'm getting boots out of retirement because. <laughs> These were not my most comfortable boots. They actually, after I wear them all day, they're not broken in very well, but they're really cute. They're very uh, sparkly. So it almost matches this brighter teal shirt. Yogi's horns matched my shirt last week. You can see duct tape is working, but he is- Starting to scrape They're off. starting to scrape off, but you can see his little sleeves that come on. Uh, because of these little balls, that's protecting us if he does hit an animal or you know hopefully not hit a person we have had him rip a few shirts before and we just want to make sure that everybody stays safe he's a sweetie pie but he just doesn't realize that he's got those big sharp things under there so these little horn sleeves uh we still never found it. i think it was michelle who gave those yeah. to us and then somebody said how about duct tape one of the ladies said duct tape and you know duct tape fixes everything Especially so tape. yeah so I had pink duct tape, of course, so we put those on him. That's, he's very much in touch with his feminine side. <laughs> Nancy from Philly says he loves the boots. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Is that our Nancy yeah. from Philly? Nancy with the twins. She's our volunteer. Yes, she is. All right, let me go around you because I think you're... I'm tangled? Yeah, just, just go that way. She's okay. She's doing a little funny farm. All right. Dance. Did you want to go in and see your boy now, or you want to stay out with visitors? Oh, he wants to go in. Do you want to go in and see? Look, he's like, I can see well, you. Can I think he <laughs> wants some snacks, and then he'll hang out with his with his man, you with your best baby. friend, right? Okay. All right. Maybe the babies. Where's the Good morning. The babies. The there baby. were babies. Did you guys see the babies? Ducks. I know. Now they left. And whenever we get on camera, then they kind of. That's a baby peacock. That's one of them. It's getting to be more of like a teenager. And you can see that's a proud mama and her one baby. We did incubate one of the babies that was the mom wasn't taken care of, so we weren't sure if something was wrong with it. But we put it in an incubator along with a baby yeah, we turkey that. that we will give an update on those today as well. Yeah. And what was oh we were gonna go see Lexi. Yeah, Lexi, yes. Lexi our baby goat that was in Jackson in a development was running around for a month and these really nice people marty and joy helped save her along with their two sons and drove her drove her down here of course they made 
made sure it was okay first, obviously. We always have to be careful taking in. Good morning! Donna Good. Franklin says, I love seeing your weekly posts and thank you for helping those babies. Aw, thank you so much for, for saying that. That's very sweet. But we always have to make sure that our animals that, were, that are here already are saved. I mean, are safe from any new animals coming in because they can have diseases. They have to be quarantined. They have to have a vet check before they get here. One that's been running loose is really difficult because, you know, these people are doing whatever they can do just to save the animal, let alone have to pay for a vet that's not an animal of theirs. So we put her in quarantine and uh, our vet, Dr. Byer, will be checking on her before she gets released with Maryland others. Wants to know where the dogs are. The, beautiful dogs. the dogs are in the house because for me to walk up to, uh, this is Ross and Chandler, the two geese, Joey's off with some girl. <laughs> but you can see the, the geese the ducks, the chickens. Uh, there's another goose with a, you can see her broken wing is, is hanging down a little bit. And then there's Shirley of Laverne and Shirley, uh, seeing some kids. And then we have roosters all over the place. The roosters are nice. The only ones that sometimes want to see your kids are the little turkeys. Uh, do we want to go in and just show real quick the other goats? So here's our rum brothers. This is Malibu and Coconut. This is Coconut and Malibu over there. You can see he's down on his knees. He likes to be on his knees a lot. He has problems with his feet since he was a, an infant, so I have to trim his hooves all the time because they tend to grow really long. What's Cowboy doing? There's Cowboy's taking a little nap. He already He's looking a little plump because he had some visitor snacks this morning. And our one sheep, Reggie, we may be getting a couple more sheep because they are in need of a home, so we're trying to figure that out now. And you can see this goat is bigger than this little girl, but they're very friendly. They're looking for some treats. He's taking a relax, he's relaxing kind of like up on his little stool. And this is one of the cat areas. This is our more, the cats that don't want to be locked in, they can get in and out. You can see through the hole here. Hi babies. Some of them, they, some of them are friendly, some of them are not real friendly, but they can come and go as they please. They are all spayed, neutered, shots. Um, some of them are tough to, catch when we have to re uh, rabies shot them so that's a challenging time we always are looking for volunteers to help do that all right let's that's Kim Raines' boyfriend okay let's go let's so gig has the this open so we're gonna run in here real quick yes that's gig from gig and Pete and angel was on too so here is miss Lexi sticking her head out <laughs> And we have a very old goat in with her, Stella. They just bonded together. I think Stella thinks it's her baby. Stella is a fainting goat. Did you guys ever see those goats that just kind of fall over? Um, they are like the sacrificial lambs in the, in the way that when they're getting chased by predators, sometimes they'll just keel over and act like they're dead. So it saves the rest of the, the flock, uh, the herd, not the flock, the herd. Flocks or our chickens. Angel said hi to Gig. <laughs> and you can see, look at look at Stella smiling. Stella's like, yeah, that's me. Keep turning, Matt. There you go. Get up closer, man. Hey, who's the cameraman? <laughs> you can see her <laughs> giving a little smile. But this is little Lexi. She's still when she. Uh oh. Oh, mommy. But she tried to give a kiss. She tried to give a little kiss. She'll come out if we come out. Yeah, I don't know if she'll come out right now, but Stella, she's enjoying her new house. Stella used to live in with the pigs when she came. That was one of the pens that we put her in, and. She never wanted to leave, but since there's a little one now, they are, are love hanging out together. Hey, I think she's gonna come out. I don't know that she's gonna come out. She's so so cute. let's go see the dogs, like everybody was asking, because they, the pool's yeah. gonna be open for a while longer, so they just love the pool. Let's stop and see the baby turkey. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> hello, are you coming in? Cooper? Okay, Cooper wants to just come in. You He's like, come in and see the I wanna see what's going on. He says, I wanna see the newcomer. <laughs> Where's the baby? I want to know the baby. Look, look, look. Hey, look, he just goes. All the animals know when there's a new animal here, and they always want to see. Oh, hey, he's like, kind of I'm just going to help <laughs> finish off her snacks. It's not like you're not getting fed enough, mister. Okay, just because you're injured. where Dolly the dentist is. Dolly the dentist is so big. She is huge. Oh, there's some leaves for the baby, though. Let's see. From her famous tree up in Jackson. This is from her tree up in Jackson. 
the owner came to visit, the old owner, the person that was helping, uh, his previous owner, the one that saved her, was not his goat, but he comes and visits all the time. And he brought some leaves from this special tree that was up there that she loved. So you can see, she still loves it and she knows him. When they say, do you think animals know people? She remembers him that uh, he helped her while she was an orphan and a runaway. And he kept her safe and warm and opened up his garage and she lived in there and they fed her just enough to keep her going. They didn't have like goat food right away. They eventually did get some and uh, until they found us and now she's gonna live happily ever here, right Lexi? <laughs> and all the animals are welcoming her. When she first got here, she was like, whoa, what are all these creatures? There's a lot of animals. And when you're a little baby and you're scared and you're by yourself and then all of a sudden you have hundreds and hundreds of brothers and sisters, uh, you know, it can be overwhelming, but she's adjusting pretty well. Eventually uh, she will go out of this area and then she'll be able to run in with everybody else. Goats, a lot of people say, you know, goats can eat anything. They can eat a lot of roughage and nothing really bothers them. They can eat sticks and sticker bushes and you'll see them chewing on paper. They really like the glue from the back of the paper. The one thing is they do have special diets, however. You can't just feed them the sweet feed. If, you're, if it's a little boy goat, they can get stones and get blocked up. Uh, the goat Jolly that used to be in this area, that's the problem that we had with him and he had to be rushed to the hospital. And $7,000 later, he's still around, but yet he has issues. So we are probably going to be giving him a bath later today because he pee pees differently than the boys. Hey, look who's coming out. Oh, Miss Stella, do you want, she's like, I have a little. Stella doesn't really faint too much anymore. She's used to people. She's been here a long time and uh, she's kind of older. So she's like, I'm not, nothing scares me. Not too much scares me. Right, Stella? Betsy Bartholomew says, good morning, Matt and Lori. Good morning, Betsy. Thanks for tuning in. For those who have tuned in recently, please let us know where you're from. We love to hear uh, the different towns, whether it's New Jersey or Australia. Okay, let's go. Now she's running all around like, hello, all these new people are watching me. You can say, say hello, well, visitors. They're all seeing the, new, the newest baby here. We, by the way, we do feed hay pellets, and you can see this is what they're eating right now. They have hay pellets, because you can't go wrong with hay, but it's more concentrated like food, and you know, they feel like they're, they're getting something different than just hay, and then they always have hay available to them. Sonia Rogers wants to know what's on her neck. So that is a, it looks like where she broke out of her original pen, it has a little scabbed area as well as on her ears. So that's the one reason that we make sure that, no, you know. No, she means the waddles. Oh, the waddles, I'm sorry. <laughs> there is a little mark on her neck too. That's where she, they think that's where she broke out of her, her pen. But there are little waddles that hang down on her neck. We call them the, her pearl earrings. They're it looks like, like she's necklace. wearing, it's her, it's her pearl earrings, kind of, from her <laughs> neck. But doesn't look like she has little pearls on. Better not tell Adele that. <laughs> yeah, Adele's gonna want them, the chicken. <laughs> Hello from Sweden. Sweden is watching. Hello, Sweden. Thank you for tuning in. Naya from Sweden and Missouri, Robin McCann. And Missouri. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, let's go see. We'll stop and see. Do you want to stop and see Canyon? And then we'll go up to see the dogs. All right. Oh, wait, is Cooper still in here? Oh, no, Cooper no, left. Cooper came up. Okay. You have to keep track of everybody. Where, who went in, who went out. And there's Puppy. He can be quite naughty, but is a sweetheart. I don't, I don't see any naughty in him. No naughty ever. No, <laughs> I never chase things I'm not supposed to. Right, puppy? <laughs> and this is our oldest goat, Fiona. So I talk about La Mancha goats. They're the goats that have the little tiny ears. She actually had her ears bitten off. You can see one is completely gone and the other one's like a little stub. Um, a dog attacked her and her, all her whole family and everybody was killed except her and she's had lots of surgeries since and she is ancient the fact that she is still alive is amazing but she still gets around and is still looking for her snacks that's fiona so i didn't want you to be confused with the little nigerian i mean the little tiny ears hi 
Jim and Sue. These are friends of mine I haven't seen in a long time. Good morning. They're from Cherry Hill. So we have Cherry Hill is in the house. Are your kids here? Is Taylor here? They're coming. Okay. Okay, great. All right, now on this side so you can see his oh, missing eye. Hey, he's being a little bitey, so we have to watch with visitors that this one can be a little bitey sometimes. He thinks because he has a disability, <laughs> you know, that he can be, hey, listen, don't be pushy. I'll scratch your <laughs> eye for you. So he lost his eye from a barbed wire fence. Obviously not here, we don't have barbed wire. But hey, don't be bitey. Uh, so he lost his eye and he also has a sway back. People say, what happened to that horse's back? He is like Lady Gaga. He was born that way. His back has the U shape, but it's from a lot of times it, uh, it is caused from people riding him that are too heavy for that horse at that time. However, as a baby, as a foal, he was, was born that way. I've seen pictures of him as a baby. So that's Canyon. I know a lot of you have seen him, but he wants to get out because he's usually loose. Good morning. Good morning. And then we'll go see Jethro on our way to letting the dogs out. And you can see our little store here. If you want to pan, you'll always be greeted by a cat. <laughs> some cat, there's a bunch of cats that live in the store. And then sometimes some of the other animals are up here trying to figure out what snacks they can get for free. Everything is a donation for the animals at the, at the Funny Farm. So if you're in our little store buying stuff, it 100% goes to the animals. Okay, so I was going to come this way first, Matt. Let's go see Jethro. Jethro is our oldest donkey. He is 50 years old. He came from my friend Doris Fox, who she said, what is going to happen to my animals if I die first? I said, Doris, you're not going to die first. Well, this donkey lived to be 50. So uh, after Doris passed, I kept my promise and I kept, I took her and her horse. Her horse made it to 50 and so did her donkey. I always, saw, I always say he has Kardashian butt implants. See how big his butt is? Nor'easter Nick got, said, where is his buddy Adele? Oh, his, hi, Nor'easter Nick. So Nor'easter Nick, it was going to be a surprise, but he is coming here at 2 o'clock today. So I know we have a few big Nor'easter Nick fans in the house. He is our lo local weatherman and running our trivia night. So while I'm here, I might as well tell you about it. It's on the 10th which is this Thursday, we do a Zoom trivia night and we have five games. One game is about the Funny Farm, so if you are up on your Funny Farm trivia, you can win a prize. So we have first, second, and third place. You can buy a ticket for $10 and your whole family can play. And most of the people, we've done one so far, and most of the people have said, even my husband played. So it's a game for the whole family because it's a lot, of, it's like Jeopardy. You have to answer very quickly, so you usually start out on Zoom with your computer and then you also have uh, your phone or your iPad where you answer the questions. And it's a lot of fun. We, it's our only way to raise money other than our normal visiting days and donations because our summer and fall festival are obviously canceled until further notice since because of COVID, just like everything else. We get way too many people here for those days. So we opted just to make sure everybody stays safe and we don't have too many people in a 20 acre area. We do get a lot. So we're doing our Zoom nights. You can play it from your, uh, your home or wherever you are with your family. And again, it's a lot of fun. A lot of people said, I would do it even if there weren't prizes, but it can be kind of competitive and you can play against your, fa your friends on other families down the street. It's a lot of fun. So uh, first, there's a question. Where are you located? And someone from the Philippines says hello. Somebody from the Philippines says hello. Thank you so much for watching. We are located in Southern New Jersey. Uh, Mays Landing, we're about a half an hour from the ocean, so Ocean City, Atlantic City, Avalon, a half an hour to 45 minutes to give you a, a rough estimate. So we're in the lower half of south, southern New Jersey. We're about three hours from New York and about an hour from Philadelphia. Okay, three hours from New York City, right? New York City, yes, New York City, excuse me. Matt is correcting me because he's from upstate New York and it's like eight hours. So. Uh, <laughs> from New York City about, you know, everybody says New York and they think New York City. Three Marina hours from New York City. Says hello. Marina, my girlfriend and Marina and her kids. It is not that hot today. It's only 75 degrees. Uh, oh, let's go see the oldest kitten on the farm. Peanut Butter Crunch. 
Come here. Peanut butter. She can't hear me. She's deaf. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter, Peanut butter crunch. Here she is. So she lives in my house. She's like, damn it, she found me. She has had, I think she's up to 12 lives. She doesn't really meow anymore, but she does live in my house. But she's been feeling so good that she has come out. I got her. She was one of the, she was one of the, she's actually the only animal left from when I moved in about uh, 20 years ago. So she's about 19. So I got her in the first year. Uh, somebody down the street was walking their dog and found a box of kittens in the woods. So somebody dumped them. Uh, Ms. Pooh was in this town area was not as nice as it is now and people used to dump things all the time. And the neighbor's kid took her, took her in and tried to feed her and her and her brothers and sisters and it turned out um, he wasn't able to do that. So he came to me, I was not a real rescue. I'm like, of course I'll take them. So we had cow kitty, was black and white. We had creamsicle, which was orange and white. And then this one was a mixture of both. So this is peanut butter crunch. And she is about 19 years old. Um, and she has had lots of health issues, but is still hanging in there. The volunteers thought she was going, a lot of animals go away to die. So if your animal's trying to go out and go underneath your steps or go hide somewhere, a lot of times when they're that old, let them be. They don't want to die with you seeing them. So they kind of go off on their own and that's what was happening. Well, I think she tried it and said, you know what, I'm really hungry and came back up to the house and said, I want in. So she's been in ever since. She's feeling really good now. And we put some more weight on her. So uh, Ross, what time on Thursday for the trivia? Trivia is Thursday, and then we have a link. Seven to eight p.m. Seven to eight p.m. So it's only an hour, five games, and like I said, it's a lot of fun. Nick, Nor'easter Nick will be leading the troops. Uh, he will be our host, and he is so much fun. And uh, Expiro uh, is involved with with this, and they're, they're wonderful. They have donated all sorts of prizes and gift cards. Ellen Helber. Would very important question. What boots are you wearing today? Was that Alan Helbig? My yes. buddy Alan from California. I yes. went to art school with Alan. Alan, you missed it earlier. These are my, these are, are, I'm pulling out my oldies but goodies. I don't wear them often because I'll be honest, they hurt my feet after too much time. But it was the closest thing I could get to this bright shirt. I do have other teal boots that are a little lighter that I wore that were really comfortable a couple weeks ago. But yes. I, I now I'm gonna need to up my game and get more boots, but uh, I have a lot in my closet. So <laughs> Sue Snyder from Alabama, I love watching you every Sunday. Sue Snyder from Alabama, thank you for joining us. Let's go see Lorenzo the Llama. Oh, we missed them. Let's go over. Okay, there's our snack bar and puppies on top of the trash can with my little niece. They're all like all the all the volunteers are like we don't want to be on camera. We don't want to be on camera. Okay. <laughs> So these are the two that were in the incubator. It, when there's a baby turkey, we, that, right? we did show the incubator, I believe, a couple weeks ago. And this is a turkey and a peacock. Can you see the difference? Matt, come over here if you can get in this way without going through the cage. So the turkey and the peacock, they look very, very similar. The peacock, however, has a little, he looks like he's wearing a small mummer's headdress hat. A mohawk. A little mohawk, that's right, a little mohawk. Yeah. And you can see they have a feather duster as their mom, and when they were younger, they go, you know, they actually sleep underneath that feather duster at night. So they're going to be able to come out pretty soon and join, join the ranks, but uh, we have to make sure that they're large enough so nobody's hurting them. So the one turkey was, the one peacock was the one that the mom didn't take that, care of. Right, that one okay. peacock, the mom for whatever reason, would not take care of her. And we kept finding it by herself, by himself, himself, herself, we don't know yet. Um, but we kept putting them, you know, kept putting them back with the mom and the mom just would just leave him. So he would just be crying by himself in a stall, sometimes in the barn. So we finally picked him up and we had already had the baby turkey that we had in an incubator to uh, get him healthy. And they will be loose here at the funny farm very shortly once they are of age all righty so they were in my house up to about three weeks ago so that was fun <laughs> all right we walked past lorenzo where did lorenzo go oh lorenzo was over by the cars oh and the geese are having a lot of party going on yeah all right wait you want to show them how he gives you a kiss 
All right, Gig is going to demonstrate Lorenzo the Llama. Can I have a kiss? Give a kiss. Give a kiss. kiss. You have to hold it behind your back. Kiss. kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nose lap. It's, a, it's really, yeah, it's a nose lap. Now this Lorenzo eats the banana, but also will eat the, the peels. And he's 18 years old, this guy. He is a sweetie pie. He was, does not want to see people in the beginning. He just wanted to be by himself and came around after I was telling you about Jethro the donkey and him became best friends because Jethro's partner, the horse, passed away. He came by himself and they were able to make a connection and they hang out a lot unless they're getting treats. Then they're like, all right, we're going to divide and conquer. You get some treats, I'll get some treats. So he knows Gig's car because she always brings special special treats. Up oh, here's Debbie the Goose. No, that's oh, that's Angel. I'm sorry. That's Angel. Angel is very loud. Angel is the goose. That's Gig's granddaughter that she could not walk for a long time. And she was in her own pen until Stephen, another goose came and started sitting outside behind her, her pen. And they would talk all the time. So I finally said, well, let's let her out. And slowly but surely she was able love conquered all and she was able to walk and now she's loose Steven's around he's getting some treats and so is she and then they'll get together okay let's let the crazies out all right we have a ball there all right we're gonna show them how they like to swim come on all right one at a time one at a time stay down come on puppies oh Rocky come here rock Rocky okay Rocky Rocky all right Rocky we'll have to get back in okay Hey, Gig, Rocky's out to see you just for a minute, if you can put him in. All right, let's see if Brookie wants to take a swim, and we're going to end after the swimming pool. Okay. So I want to show everybody, so I always, all right, come on this side. All right, Tucker's already going in. <laughs> so I always teach my dogs, I have steps to get in and out. I always teach them how to get up and down, because God forbid, if somebody falls in your pool, they should at least know, even if they hate it, I bring every single one of them in and show them, okay, I let them in the deep end and I, I don't do that immediately. I bring them in first slowly, but I walk them in and out. And so they always can know where the steps are. Okay, want to see Brookie? You ready, yep. Matt? Yep, I'm ready. <laughs> That's our diving girl. She jumps <laughs> yeah. in, she gets the ball. Go ahead, Tucker, go get the ball. He'll go get it. So this keeps the, the, the kids cool. Everybody, these are my kids. So this is who uses my pool. I don't get a chance very often. It is hard to keep clean. I go through filters. My brother's a pool guy, thank goodness, because he helps me with my pool because I don't think any other pool person would help with eight dogs. All right, let's stop playing so much. So, all right, Caesar always steals the ball. Let me say, Caesar. All right, all right, you guys, come here, come here. Look, she's like, we don't have another ball now. Caesar, really? Caesar always wins all of the time against the ball. Let me see. Ready? We got it. Okay, ready? Brooke, go ahead. Go, Brooke. All right. So if we take a dog, now watch. I'm gonna put him in. Go, buddy, go. He knows right where to go. And then Tucker comes in and always steals it. Let him up. Let him up. You always have to watch. Come on, buddy. There's steps right there. Here he goes. He figured it out. All right, puppy. Good boy. And then this guy. <laughs> All right, we won't go too far. This is Chewbacca. Oh, we call him AKA Chewbacca. That is Gunner. Okay, Gunner. Go to the steps. Go to the steps. Keep going. Keep going. Yay. And then also, sometimes when they want to just go in there and not swim, swim, they can just go sit on a step. Oops, Tucker. Oops, oops, oops. Tucker. <laughs> Tucker blew the oops. camera up. <laughs> it, oh, man. Oh, man. Is it working or uh, not? Rotate. Hold, hold please. please. Tucker. Hold. Tucker decided to okay, I think we mess up the video. Do we have it or is everybody still yeah, there? We're on. We're still on. You guys can still hear us. Just upside down for a minute. All right. We good? Yeah, we're good. Okay. So I think that is a good amount for today. Does anybody have any questions before we go?
Um, I can't see because I'm in the sun. So okay. I'm going to shade. Matt can't see. Let's so we go down. All right, we'll go down. We'll go in the shade. Okay, the dogs are going to keep playing. Whoops. Okay. All right, we'll have to move away from Angel. Okay. She's pretty loud. All right, let's come on over here. Again, for those who have, are you, everybody can hear us still? Yeah. For those who have just tuned in recently, we are the Funny Farm Rescue and Sanctuary located in Mays Landing, New Jersey. We're an hour southeast of Philadelphia, and we're about 40 minutes to, from the beaches in uh, southern New Jersey. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. We are open Tuesdays and Sundays, 8 to 4, rain or shine through the whole year. Most sanctuaries close, they're seasonal. These animals have to eat one way or another, and if I'm out here, you guys are invited to my home, and we'd love to see you. We're going to keep continuing to do uh, these live videos as long as you guys want to see them. Okay, a couple questions. Oh, a couple questions. Roger Tease, he's asked a couple times, what, okay. where do you get your fresh produce? Roger Tease asked where we get our fresh produce. So we have some people that, some volunteers buy their own and bring them, and then they cut them up, and we sell them in the store. Um, we have m and s down in egg harbor township we purchased some there but again a lot of it is donated okay and uh someone thought that i fell in the pool <laughs> that would have been funny if matt fell in the pool yeah. we could have arranged that that would have even been better almost he was right on the edge <laughs> <laughs> i think that is it for today um, so menorah easter nick at two right yep so if we're gonna do a quick live at two just advertising about our trivia and so Nick, Nor'easter Nick will be here and he's going to be on his live as well. So whoever wants to uh, tune in to see Nor'easter Nick, he's famous and we love having him. And he is a huge, him and Brandon are a huge support of the Funny Farm Rescue as well as Xperio. Thank you so much. Sue Snyder, thank you so much for the videos. I love seeing all the rescued animals. Thank you guys for watching and you ha have a great, great holiday weekend. Be safe.